The President, please be seated. The court is now back in session. Nous reprenons l'audience. Before I give the floor to the co-prosecutors for them to put forward questions to the expert Dr. Craig Edison, Craig Edison. Notre témoin expert. The trial chamber would like to inform to all the parties that the trial chamber will conduct a hearing of a testimony of an expert, Nayan Chanda, in early next week, that is on the Monday, the 25th, the Tuesday, the 26th of May 2009. This is because he will come to the courts to provide testimony in relation to the facts of the armed conflict sur le thème suivant, conflit armé. And because he has various other engagements, so his ability Monsieur to provide Nayan his testimony is only for these two days, the 25th and the 26th of May. Et les so may all the parties be informed of sont le 25 et 26 the proceeding May. that we plan to conduct for early next partie. week. Pour le programme Now de I would like to give the floor à présent, la to parole the co-prosecutors co to put forward their questions afin poser to the fact which is being debated and discussed faits dont il in relation fait. to the testimony of the expert witness Greg Edison. The co-prosecutors, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President. Dr. Etchison, you wrote your report in July 2007. Could you tell the court when you first started work at the office of the co-prosecutors? À travailler au sein du bureau des coprocureurs. Yes, Mr. Prosecutor. I began Madame work Sweet. at the office of the co-prosecutors co at the extraordinary Je chambers in the courts of Cambodia mon au sein on du des co 2 July 2006. Le 2 juillet 2006. Mon contrat and for the preparation of your written report, question. you have selected 148 documents in total. But can you estimate how many documents you had read and considered during your work for the 12 months prior to writing that report. I don't expect a precise to the letter, to the number. I believe that we considered approximately 50,000 documents, and from those, we selected 2 to 3,000 for a closer examination. And of those, um, I would correct you, uh, 161 were selected for use in this report. I would correct you, 161 in general terms, Et de can générale, you tell the court why you selected those 161 documents à la from, from the universe of documents vous avez that you, had, you have mentioned? Documents sur des documents que vous avez pu I selected 
this particular subset of documents because they covered the broadest range of matters that were the subject of the report and because, in my judgment, they were the most probative, that is to say, they were the most illuminating of the truth of the matters that are under examination before this court. Pertinent de la manifestation de la vérité. In the table Question. of 148 documents tableau, that we have provided to the court is a number of different types of evidence de preuve, from analytical reports de rapport d'analyse to biographies, en passant par les to books, and so on. Ouvrages, et ainsi de suite. If we take one category, si, telegrams, une for example, pour donner un exemple, telegrams, would you tell the court vous dire why chambre, you selected 16 rather than simply one telegram in the broadest sense? Que, uh, Un seul télégramme, simplement, il s'agit là d'une yes, réponse générale. Nous recherchons réponse. I selected oui. 16 telegrams. Sélectionné 16 télégrammes. Because these telegrams car illustrated ces télégrammes a broad range of different types of communications toute une between gamme de different types de organizational units entre les of Democratic Cambodia du and Kampuchea the party center of Democratic Cambodia. Avec le centre du For example, some telegrams illustrate communications between the Secretary of the East Zone and the party center or the Secretary of the West Zone and the party center, or the secretary of the northwest zone, and the party center. Other telegrams illustrate communications between secretaries of different military divisions of the Revolutionary Army of Campuchia and the party center, and so on. Thus, the selection of telegrams is meant to illustrate not only the different communications patterns within the organizational units of Democratic Kampuchea, but also the implementation of the policies of Democratic Kampuchea in various areas of functional responsibility. With the benefit of an additional almost two years since you wrote the report, do you consider that any of the documents, let's talk about the telegrams, do you consider that any of the 16 telegrams are superfluous to illustrate what you have just described? No, Mr. Prosecutor, Réponse I do not. Non, le Je pas que que ce soit le cas. I could ask you the same question in relation to each of the document types, de des one by one. De but you may be relieved to hear that I won't ask you that. Can I ask you in general terms whether your answer would be any different from any of the, for any of the categories of evidence that you have listed in those 161 documents? I would say, Mr. Prosecutor, that with the benefit of an additional two years of research since the time that report was drafted, I have found additional examples, some of which may have been superior to examples I used in the report, but 
short of replacing existing examples with subsequently discovered better examples. No. Uh, there is no superfluous information included in that the meilleurs examples, eh bien, je ne pense pas que ce soit de meilleurs exemples que ceux compris dans ce rapport. Can I ask you, in general terms, question, puis-je, how you, as an expert, dans les grandes lignes, go about analyzing? For example, the communication structure of the DK regime. And I'll be more specific. Do you use a single document? A couple of documents? Multiple documents? Or how? Multiple documents, de nombreux documents, à des fins d'analyse. It would be impossible to analyze communications patterns based on a single document or even merely two or three or four. For example, in democratic Kampuchea, there were many different modes of communication used by the regime. Telegram. Field telephones, des téléphones filaires, fixed line telephones, des postes fixes, messages, messages carried by courier, transportés documents, par des messagers, transmitted des by courier, transmis par des messagers, face to face meetings, des réunions face à face, group meetings, des réunions de groupe, large scale meetings, grandes réunions, national radio. Diffusion radiophonique au niveau party national. Publications. Publication du parti. In short, there was bref, a large multiplicity of means of communication. And in order to understand the totality of the network of communications requires a wide variety of sources. Mr. President, before we broke, Monsieur the Defence Council criticised this witness as the mouthpiece of the prosecution, or rather labelled this expert as the mouthpiece of the prosecution. In the light of the ruling on Rule 87, the co-prosecutors wish to submit that from the evidence that the court has just heard from Dr. Etchison, it is clear that his evidence has been based on a detailed analysis of many documents and a specific analysis of the subset of 161 documents. The written report has been written not exclusively or not, so not on personal knowledge, but on an assessment, a considered assessment of those documents. In the submission of the co-prosecutors, co to assess the accuracy and the reliability la of Dr. Etchison's report, du rapport de Monsieur Etchison, particularly in the light of the suggestion by the defence de that Dr. Etchison is merely the mouthpiece of the co-prosecutors, the trial chamber must itself assess the reliability of the witnesses' conclusions. Des conclusions de, du and how did the trial chamber do that? Et comment peut -elle le faire? But by looking Sinon, at the reliability and of the content of the documents upon which 
to witness as based his report, a fondé son rapport. Therefore, I now propose to summarize the documents that Dr. Etchison has relied upon. Les documents sur lesquels s'est fondé M. Etchison. Document number one. Document numéro un. Case file. Introductory submission. Annex C. Document two point one. Two point one. ERN. Zero zero. N zero zero. Zero eight. Seven six. One zero. Ten. To zero zero. Zero eight. Seven six. Two seven. To short circuit this process, I will just give the first ERN number. This is an analytical report from an international source. It is dated the 6th of July 1978, and it comes from the government of the United States of America. The document is entitled Submission from the government of the United States of America to the United Nations. And it contains the statements of Dutch Kyo Dara, T-H-A-C-H, K-E-O, D-A-R-A, at pages 9 to 11, Monsieur, M-O-N-S-I-E-U, at 16 to 18, Suor Cheng, S O U R C H H E N G, at 14 to 15. Sam Damavong, S A M D A M W O N G, at 8 to 9. And Yim Sot Ronachit, Y I M S O T. R O N N A C H I T at 11 to 13. The document describes widespread human rights violations in democratic Kampuchea, including one at pages 9 to 11, 16 to 18, and 14 to 15, the formal policy of confining people to cooperatives. Two, pages 16 to 18, spying was common in cooperatives. Three, pages 8 to 18, forced labor, work was mandatory and people were required to work long hours. Four, pages 9 to 18, in human living conditions. People received inadequate food, inadequate medical care, and people had to work even when sick. Five, pages 8 to 11, and 16 to 18, unlawful killings and torture. People were punished or killed for minor infractions. Six, Pages 8 to 11, 13 to 14, and 16 to 18. No functioning legal system. 7. Pages 7 to 11. Unlawful killings of doctors, lawyers, teachers, students, religious leaders, business people, and other intellectuals. 8. Pages 8 to 11 and 13 to 15. Unlawful killings of minor Khmer Republic officials, non-commissioned officers, ordinary soldiers and their families in the villages and cooperatives. Nine, pages 11 to 13 and 18. Unlawful killings at the village, cooperative or commune level. Ten. Pages 8 to 9, discriminatory intent against the Vietnamese. 11, pages 8 to 9, 11 to 13, and 14 to 15. 
ส้มเอาอิสระปริญญาอันยึดบันเตปีปลุกเนี่ยบอกปลายมันอาจอันตอนเตะบอกปลายตอนเตะสมอกุลขอโทษขอโทษขอโทษ I apologize. On dit de ralentir quelque peu. Excusez-moi, Monsieur le Président. I will go back to item 10. Je reviens au point 10. From this document that we are summarizing. Ce document que nous sommes en train de résumer. Pages 8 to 9. Page 8 et 9. Discriminatory intent against the Vietnamese. Discrimination à l'égard des Vietnamiens. Item 11. Point 11. Pages 8 to 9. Page 8 et 9. 11 to 13. 11 à 13. And 14 to 15. 14 à 15. Discriminatory intent against new people. du peuple nouveau. We turn to document number two on Dr. Edison's list. Dans la liste du de Monsieur. Introductory submission annex C. Requis introductif annex C. Document D. Document D. Two point five. Slash 66, and disclosure number 2.3, original evidence reference number in Khmer, 00087537 through 00087537. This is the second of two analytical reports from an international source dated the 18th of August 1978 and the author is the government of Norway and the summary of the document is as follows. It is entitled Submission of the Government of Norway to the United Nations Commission on Human Rights. It contains evidence of widespread human rights violations in democratic Kampuchea, including one at page 19. The destruction and expropriation of property by Democratic Kampuchea. Two, at page 12, people were forced to leave Phnom Penh with almost no belongings. Three, at pages 12 to 13 and 21, dead bodies were a common sight during the forced evacuation. Four, at pages four to five and sixteen, the cities and towns were evacuated. Five, at pages eight and fifteen to sixteen, a second wave of forced movements. Number six, at page three. Formal policy of confining people to cooperatives. Seven, pages three, eight to ten, and annex four. Spying was common in cooperatives. Number eight, at pages nine and eighteen, food was inadequate. Nine. At pages 3, 9, 19, and Annex 4, medical care was inadequate and people had to work even when sick. 10, at pages 18 to 19, people died of starvation and exhaustion. 11, at page 2 and Annex 4, people were punished or killed for minor infractions. 12, at page 13, no functioning legal system. 13, at page 17, party loyalty and ideology was more important than technical expertise. 
14, 14. at page 21, 21. killing Execution during forced evacuation of Phnom Penh, 15, 15. at pages 5 to 7, 7. 13, 13, and 21, 21. killings of high-ranking Khmer Republic officials and military personnel during April and May 1975. 16, at page 8, many people died during forced movement to the countryside. 17, at pages 1 and 8 to 9, killings of doctors, lawyers, Avocats, teachers, enseignants, students, étudiants, religious leaders, business people, and other intellectuals. 18, 18 at pages 4 to 5, 4, 5, 13 through 15, 15 and Annex 4, et annex 4 killings of minor Khmer Republic officials, non-commissioned officers, ordinary soldiers, and their families de in the villages and cooperatives. 19, 19 at pages 4, to, 4 through 5, page 4 et 5, killing at the village, cooperative village and commune level. Cooperative et commune. 20, 20 at pages 6 through 7, page 6 killings associated with the purge of the north zone. Au purge de la zone nord. 21, 21 at page 19, page 19 expropriation, expropriation of property de bien in villages and cooperatives. Villages 22, 22 at pages 22. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. President, mon may I please interrupt? Excusez-moi. I apologize, but. À l'instant, uh, right j'entends parler d'expropriation et de rassemblement de personnes dans des coopératives. Je ne vois pas la relation avec l'ordonnance de renvoi rendue par les juges d'instruction en vertu de laquelle vous êtes compétent. Monsieur Duke, so, Mr. Duke est poursuivi devant uh, votre chambre après une année d'instruction et par une ordonnance de renvoi by an indictment pour des faits for commis à S21. Je viens d'entendre parler de coopératives, je viens d'entendre parler de personnes chassées des villes de Phnom Penh, évacuées des villes de Phnom Penh, je viens d'entendre parler d'un système légal qui ne fonctionnait pas. Did not function. Tout cela All est totalement is hors sujet. Je souhaiterais, Monsieur so, le Président, Mr. que nous revenions à like notre sujet. Duc est poursuivi pour les hand. faits Duke is being qui sont très précisément décrits à l'ordonnance de renvoi. In, uh, Je souhaiterais so, que les coprocureurs soient invités à se concentrer sur les faits reprochés à Douk à l'ordonnance de renvoi. Vous ne pouvez pas mettre Douk en cause pour l'ensemble du système criminel du Kampuchea démocratique. Pour les coopératives, pour l'absence du système légal, pour les personnes évacuées des villes, etc., etc., comme il vient de nous en être donné lecture. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. The President, now the co-prosecutor, you take the floor. In respond uh, to the defense counsel, or would you like to make other observations? You have the observations. Some of the observations are appropriate. Je crois que certaines observations de la défense sont pertinentes. And uh, other issues uh, raised by the co-prosecutor are not related to the charges. So your summary of uh, uh, the 
from the documents must donc, uh, be relevant to document, the issue des points pertinents at hand, uh, and you can now make a response. La présente procédure. Vous pouvez poursuivre. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. I had hoped that I had established the reason avoir and necessity la raison et la for document, documents upon which Dr. Etchison had relied des documents to be read out sur lesquels in court. Fondé, la nécessité de, de Can I produire perhaps spell it out even la more la chambre, clearly? Les documents sur lesquels M. Etchison s'est fondé. Alors, These are documents être plus clair encore, that this documents expert witness que, uh, has deemed important, important upon which to base his et sur testimony, his il report. Fondé pour rédiger the defense are challenging la défense met en or are describing this witness le is the mouthpiece expert, of the prosecution. Lui qui est le porte du des it is the chamber's responsibility la to evaluate de, the evidence upon which Dr. Etchison relies. Fondé. These summaries are et, intended et to provide the court a, a basis à, à for assessing une base pour Dr. Etchison's conclusions. Et les conclusions. And I might add, Etchison, et for it seems the defense has forgotten, car il que la a oublié, that for crimes against humanity, which is in the indictment against the accused, dans the co-prosecutors have to establish beyond a reasonable doubt that crimes occurred crimes in a widespread and systematic manner across the country. This is not the same Cela as saying that this accused was responsible for all those crimes, crimes around the country. Qui ont été commis dans le pays. It has to be established that the crimes that we say were committed by this accused at S21 were part of that widespread and systematic attack on the civilian population as a whole. That is the basis for including those documents in the summary. I'm sorry, reading out the summary as we have. And I feel the time has come Et je crois que to make another observation de faire une autre observation. in response to the constant interruptions aux interruptions and objections et aux objections from the defence. De the co-prosecutors clearly understand that the defence wish to limit Bien que la the trial chamber's consideration of the evidence que fait la to a very small number of documents. Que documents. Of course, Et it is in the accused's advantage il est dans de that incriminating documents que des documents are left untouched, that background documents que des documents are left de untouched. Ne soient pas abordés. But surely, Mr. President, Mais, le Président, One of the functions of this tribunal, of your trial chamber, du tribunal et de la chambre, is to educate et and to demonstrate de that an internationalized tribunal un tribunal based in Cambodia, basé with Cambodia, Cambodian and international personnel, de examines et a trial fairly and according to the evidence. Équitable sur but la more importantly, de preuve, that that important is done encore, in public and that just judgments are based on evidence that the public de preuve, que has heard. Public a pu there are numerous reports swirling around Cambodia that the On courts in this country lack transparency le de transparence, and that there is little public discussion et y a très of the evidence. Au du de there are passe. swirling reports y a des de even plus en plus in this tribunal y relating au sein du tribunal to corruption 
des questions de corruption. Alors, que souhaitons-nous réaliser au terme de ce processus Lorsqu'un expert How the trial was conducted. Examine, examinera. Do they want to see a judgment that was based on one or two documents, un jugement fondé sur the un case file documents, not properly examined, un dossier qui n'aurait pas été suffisamment débattu, that there was not a complete examination of the evidence, des éléments de preuve qui n'auraient pas été suffisamment or débattus, or do we want experts to look back on these proceedings? and to say that the judgment was based on solid evidence de la procédure, que le jugement est fondé based, sur des from, de based solides, on independent and corroborated sources. Des sources et Mr. President, the co-prosecutors wish a speedy trial and an expeditious one and, and a fair one. Et équitable. But they also consider that the public have a right to hear the evidence that will found the judgment. Not only a right, I submit, but this chamber has a duty, as I said, to educate and to demonstrate the process that this court is following and that the co-prosecutors -pros are inviting et les coprocureurs, you, Mr. President, vous invite to apply today. Monsieur le Président, à agir en conséquence. Uh, for that reason, pour ces raisons, I make no apology to read the summaries of documents je that this à lire expert has les relied upon. Des documents sur lesquels s'est fondé le court expert. I will continue Et to read from the summary. De la chambre, je poursuivrai cette lecture.
The president, uh, le president, says Mr. Hong, uh, sorry, Kong Pisai. Mr. President, uh, I know that two of you uh, are on the feet at the same time. So what would you like um, to make any observation? Uh, Mr. Kong Pisai, thank you, Mr. President, and your honors. Monsieur le Président, Madame I have les observed juges, that the co-prosecutor have cited the document, but I have not located the Khmer version of the document. So I think it would uh, be very helpful if the civil parties are also provided uh, with the Khmer version of the document. Otherwise, it would be contradictory to the rules of the ECCC and the, the ruling of the, the trial chamber regarding the language uh, used uh, at the court because uh, in the rulings, uh, I, if I'm not wrong, that all the documents uh, must be available in Khmer language, the language of the accused. Uh, however, the civil parties have not received uh, that version in mais, Khmer, mais so I, we will be very grateful if we are offered uh, the Khmer version of the document. Vous seriez reconnaissant de bien pouvoir fournir la, le, le document en langue Khmer. It is my understanding that you are about to rule Maître on Bernard, an issue which is very important for everybody here. Vous êtes sur le and de before you do that, un, we would request to be able to say something tous. briefly and I know that other of my colleagues would like to say something, and I believe that probably uh, Maître Roux would like to, uh, to respond. So if you are about to rule, then we would request the opportunity to speak. Thank you. Réponse. Et nous aimerions que nous puissions disposer de la possibilité de nous exprimer. The president, the co-prosecutor, as uh, the national co-lawyer of the civil party for group le two, cited regarding le the language used, uh, which he prefers the Khmer version of uh, that document. Do you think uh, the Khmer version is available for the civil parties? Monsieur le co-procureur, est-ce que vous pensez que le document est disponible en langue Khmer pour les parties civiles? Pour yes, it parties is indeed, Your Honor. Réponse du co-procureur international, oui. Evidence reference number. Monsieur le Président, je vais it vous donner la code. It is 00, zero Il s'agit de la code 00, 2, 2, 2, 4, 3, 4, 3, 3, 5, 3, 5, through 0, 0, 0, 2, 2, 4, 3, 4, 3, 5, 6, 5, 6, that is document number 1 on the index, document number 2, which I had almost come to the end of summarizing, in Khmer, ERN 00227817 through 00227765. And, Mr. President, I should add that all the ERN references are contained in the index to Dr. Etchison's written record at E55.1. If the original language is English, the additional ERN describes the Khmer or the French or both. And if the original language is Khmer, the additional ERN references are either in English 
or French, or both. Monsieur le Président. Mr. Hu. Mr. President. Est-ce que les... Est-ce que... Okay. Est-ce que les coprocureurs peuvent indiquer si la, la synthèse qu'était en train de lire mon confrère, si la synthèse elle-même existe en Khmer et en français Car évidemment, nous n'allons pas les uns et les autres nous reporter à l'intégralité des documents et nous livrer à euh, une plongée dans les pages 9 à 18, 8 à 11, 13, 14, etc. etc. Donc, est-ce que le résumé qui est coté E55.1 est disponible en Khmer pour mon co-avocat et en français pour moi-même Je parle bien de résumé. I am referring to the summaries, of course. Uh, the president, the co-prosecutor, you take Monsieur the floor. Je vous en prie. Monsieur le co-procureur international. Thank you, Mr. President. The English summaries on the index E55.1 are only in English, but the full document is translated into Khmer in full and in French in full and given the integral translation that we have of everything in this, these proceedings, the summary of what I read out in English would be available, I presume, tomorrow for all parties to examine. Excuse me. And I should confirm that the summary in English that I read out would be available in the transcript of the proceedings. And so, having provided a full translation of the document, together with the transcripts that are available, the co-prosecutors consider and submit that they have fulfilled their translation requirements. It is the view of the co-procureurs that they have rempli leurs obligations.
le président. We have observed that uh, Mr. Alain when uh, attempted to uh, submit uh, something in relation to the matter, so the trial chamber would like uh, to know whether Mr. Alain when still would like uh, to make uh, his observation before the chamber, so uh, if you wish to do so, the floor is yours. Je vous en prie. I'm grateful, Your Honours, and I will, uh, I will be very brief. Je vous suis reconnaissant. Quickly, two, two points. You gave a decision on the 23rd of April 2009 concerning the assignment of experts. And the number four, the fourth expert was, was Dr. Greg Etchetson. So the first thing I would like to say that in our submission, it is disingenuous for the defense to come and say that Dr. Etchetson is not an expert because you are the one who said on the 23rd of April 2009 that Dr. Etchetson is an expert and you call him to come and testify. Now, about the scope of his testimony, you are the one on page 3 Point four, paragraph four, you are the one who said that Dr. Etchetson should come and testify about the political governmental structure of the Khmer Rouge, among other things, policy ideology of the Khmer Rouge. Well, policy ideology of the Khmer Rouge, are, as we all know now, is to smash people throughout Cambodia, to starve people throughout Cambodia, possibly to torture people throughout Cambodia. Now, if the co-prosecutor decides to summarize exhibits upon which Dr. Etchetson rely on, and they believe they have to do that, as they explain, because this is the raw material Dr. Etchetson rely upon, and because, Your Honours, of your ruling of this afternoon, earlier on, and I have to say that this ruling may have immense consequences on the lens of this trial, but that is your ruling. If the co-prosecutor think that they have to do that, then of course they have to summarize exhibits which not only talk about S21, but talk about the whole Cambodia, because precisely you have called this expert to come and talk about things which are outside much broader than N21. So in our respectful submission, the objection by the defense is without merit, and we do strongly support the co-prosecutor. I'm grateful. L'argument des coprocureurs. Je vous remercie. The president, le uh, président, the lawyer, you take the floor. J'invite l'avocat du groupe des parties civiles à prendre la parole. L'avocate reprend l'interprète. Ms. Rabisandratana, Mr. Le president, j'interviendrai en complément. I would like to make submissions in support of what my learned colleague has said. Dans votre ordonnance du 23 avril 2009, in your order of the 23rd of April 2009, this is document number E51, the chamber invited Mr. Craig Etchison to make give testimony on the military, political and government structure of the Khmer Rouge, the communication network of the regime, as well as its policy and ideology. Further down, as you said earlier, it was intended that Mr. David Chandler would come to give testimony on his research into S21. I find it wholly inappropriate for the defense 
to say que l'interrogatoire du témoin expert the expert se witnesses au seul fait examination concernant ou qui serait limited to à monsieur only the crimes charged on the accused and S21 especially as hier during the hearing yesterday that is the 19th of may 2009 a interrompu the defense le témoignage interrupted the testimony of the expert witness and said que celui-ci était sorti that the expert witness had exceeded the boundaries of his report and had conducted an analysis that was not consistent with his report because he was referring to S21. And the defense said that it was a general policy report prepared in 2007 faire une quelconque allusion à no S21 or reference should be made S21 to S21 because S21 Alors, came later la défense vient vous soutenir now the defense une opinion totalement contraire en voulant an opinion that is completely at odds with its previous le, le one in seeking to limit the rights of the co-prosecutors by trying to restrict them to S21, whereas the proceedings today are not on, the, on S21 and its operation, but on the general policy of Kampuchea, as defined in the decision, and for which reason you invited Mr. Etchison to come and give testimony before the court. Les, les, les it is my submission that the defense does not have to dictate the admissible evidence or the form of evidence that is admissible when it is not agreeable to it. And it cannot consider that the co-prosecutors cannot base their case on a number of documents. De, uh, under Tout Article 87, all evidence peuvent et doivent être a priori must produit and devant votre be chambre. Before the court. Et c'est votre chambre and it is your qui court en établira which la pertinence, determine the la qualité et tous les témoins viennent déposer devant votre chambre and à égalité. Give et c'est vous this court on qui tirerait de cet ensemble de, 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 de témoignages la valeur to determine the value, probante des the éléments value développés devant vous. Mais je ne voudrais pas que les témoins experts par l'accusation soient considérés comme des témoins de moindre valeur par rapport aux experts que l'on va avoir par la suite produits par la défense dont on nous laisse entendre que ce sont des gens de grande valeur. And it is suggested that the defense witnesses would be of great value for the fairness of proceedings accordingly and for the ascertainment of the truth, the free presentation of evidence is essential and I support the approach of the co-prosecutors on this point. Monsieur le Président. Mr. Hu, Mr. President. The President, is there any le other civil party lawyers uh, representing other groups would like to make uh, further comments? Uh, we try to avoid uh, going to the defense and then moving back to the Je civil party lawyers. We would like to hear all the comments and responses at all in once from uh, the civil party civil. group so that we can really have the background for further uh, ruling. Mr. Hong Kong Soon, you take the floor. Mr. Hong Kong Soon, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President and your honors. On behalf of uh, civil party group one, I will be brief uh, and I strongly support uh, the submissions by our colleagues. Thank you. The 
President, uh, the Defense Council, you take the floor. La Défense, je vous en prie. Mr. Wu. Monsieur le Président, Mr. Merci President, plusieurs, thank you. Plusieurs observations. I have uh, several observations uh, to make. First of all, uh, I would like to uh, reassure my learned friends when I said that I was speaking about de la défense. Uh, eminent experts. I was not only speaking about experts chosen by the defense. I believe that Mr. Chandler, for example, is part of the, these uh, distinguished experts that uh, we will uh, be uh, lucky enough to have uh, with us Je during these proceedings. I think here that we are facing again uh, a problem of method and de a problem of juridique. juridical culture, we could even say. Déjà dit I have already said several times that we are here following de renvoi, uh, an indictment qui which fait uh, suite à follows une année a year of investigations that have been carried out by two distinguished co-investigating judges in an, in an investigation to which participated on a regular and a systematic basis the co-prosecutors. And I I wish to thank them for this. Considérable this was a great contribution to uh, the civil law proceedings. Because année, during one full year, we were able to have les adversarial hearings before the co-investigating judges, co-prosecutors, as well as defense. À la suite de cette Following instruction, this investigation phase, les the co-investigating judges ont rendu leur ordonnance de rendered their indictment à laquelle j'aimerais que l'on se réfère which plus souvent I would like us to refer to more parce que c'est cette ordonnance de clôture, Monsieur le Président, Mr. Madame, President, Messieurs, your honors, qui vous saisit. That you are being seized of. Vous êtes saisi par cette ordonnance of this et par les faits and by the qui facts sont contenus that are dans cette ordonnance. In this indictment. Vous êtes you liés are linked, you are bound par cette ordonnance. To this indictment. Sauf pour les qualifications que Except vous pourriez revoir. For Mais en ce qui concerne les faits uh, dont nous parlons ici, ce sont facts, uniquement les faits qui ont été débattus chez les juges d'instruction et qui ont fait l'objet de cette ordonnance. Et je vous renvoie like à la fin de l'ordonnance où il est indiqué en conséquence Il résulte de l'instruction des charges suffisantes contre Kengek alias Duk d'avoir à Phnom Penh et sur le territoire cambodgien entre le 17 avril 1975 et le 6 janvier 1979, En qualité de sous-secrétaire, secretary secrétaire de S21, secretary of S21, par ses actes et omissions, through his acts and omissions, planifié, it is incité à commettre, planned, ordonné, ordered, commis les crimes suivants, following crimes d'avoir porté aide et to assistance à leurs auteurs ou d'en être responsable en qualité de supérieur hiérarchique. Ils sont énumérés deux catégories de crimes. Un, les crimes contre l'humanité. Deux, les violations graves des conventions de Genève. Pour en arriver and à cette conclusion, in order to reach this conclusion, I would like to refer you to paragraph 131 and de cette ordonnance qui spécifie de manière précise les crimes. 
reproché à l'accusé. Alors, so, que l'on entende M. Greg Etchison donner un panorama de ce qu'était le Kampuchea démocratique pendant cette période, bien entendu, bien entendu, et le rapport, j'ai déjà eu l'occasion de le dire, de M. Craig Etchison, est, je parle du rapport écrit, est un élément extrêmement important intéressant pour tout le monde. Et je souhaite d'ailleurs, je le dis à la Chambre, que ce rapport soit publié dès que possible sur le site du tribunal dès lors qu'il aura été débattu contradictoirement à cette audience. Il est bon que l'on connaisse publiquement le contenu de ce rapport. Mais a-t-on besoin C'est ça la question. A-t-on besoin de prendre connaissance, même avec une synthèse, de tous les documents dont s'est inspiré l'auteur de ce rapport En common law, certainement. En common law, certainement. En civil law, cela n'est pas nécessaire. Je le dis très clairement. En civil law, cela n'est pas nécessaire. En civil law, pour asseoir l'intime conviction du juge, il n'est pas indispensable de donner les références de, et surtout la lecture même par synthèse de tous les documents dont un expert s'est inspiré. Cela n'est pas nécessaire. Donc je dis que procéder aujourd'hui à la lecture exhaustive des résumés de l'ensemble des documents étudiés par M. Greg Etchison, c'est du temps perdu pour ce tribunal, c'est, pardonnez-moi, de l'argent perdu pour ce tribunal, et c'est du temps perdu, j'y reviens, pour les victimes. Je suis impatient d'entendre la substance de ce qu'a à dire M. Greg Etchison. J'aurai des questions à lui poser, et si, effectivement, à l'occasion de contestations que je fais sur une partie de son rapport, il souhaite me renvoyer à un des documents sur lesquels il s'est appuyé, il pourra le faire. Mais cet exercice qui consiste à relire systématiquement les résumés de tous les documents dont il s'est inspiré, cet exercice, je le redis, est parfaitement inutile en civil. Et je rappelle que le règlement intérieur dit que les juges prendront leurs décisions sur la base de leur intime conviction. Voilà. Je renvoie une fois encore à cette ordonnance de renvoi rendue par les juges d'instruction et je demande And I request que nous n'ayons pas les uns et les autres travaillé pendant un an et demi pour rien uh, dire. Uh, uh, C'est un travail de fond qui a case, été fait not, is not wasted. This au was terme duquel deux magistrats deux hauts magistrats ont estimé qu'il y avait des charges suffisantes contre l'accusé. Et pour la plupart de ces charges, il a dit « je suis d'accord ». Alors quel est notre exercice ici 
que l'on veuille donner à l'opinion publique qui nous écoute un panorama de ce qu'a été ce régime criminel, bien sûr, mais que l'on veuille partir dans des discussions totalement hors sujet, absolument pas. Voilà quelles sont les observations que je voulais faire. Je vous remercie, M. le Président. It is now time for the afternoon session adjournment, de, de and uh, it has been intense in the debate uh, during été, uh, the hearing. So the trial chamber takes the adjournment now, and the donc, session uh, is resumed uh, tomorrow at 9 a.m. The security personnel, please take uh, the accused back to the detention facility. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Craig Atchison, for your time. The trial chamber would like to invite you to come back tomorrow to give testimony by 9 a.m. And uh, the parties to the proceedings are also advised uh, to come to the courtroom by 9 a.m. The court is adjourned.